Hello everybody and welcome back to Easy Medicine. Everybody has asked themselves why poo has a brownish discoloration. It's not something you think about every day, but I'm pretty sure everyone has thought one time in their life, why is poop brown? Well, we're gonna answer this today, but before we got two things to mention. Number one, you loved the blog last week and you can be damn sure that I'm going to do this now more regularly. I enjoyed it as well to bring you along and to show you more impressions of the life of a medical student. And number two, of course, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more medical content. Let's get into it. The complete digestive system is one long tube leading through your body, starting at the mouth, going to the throat, down the esophagus, leading to the stomach, stomach going into the small intestine, leading to the large intestine, and this ending in the rectum. So once you devour this delicious burger with some nice fries, it does not look that delicious when it leaves your body. Why is it and why is it brown? Well, our body needs to digest the food. This is nothing new. Our food consists of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Well, carbohydrates and proteins are water soluble and fats are not. Very easy, if you solve some sugar in water, it will dissolve. But if you add some olive oil, for example, to water, it will not solve in the water, it will stick to the surface. So, to solve this problem and to get these digestive enzymes to the fat, our body releases bile from the liver or it is stored in the gallbladder. This bile can dissolve the fat and make it more accessible for all those digestive enzymes. Those are called lipases. These can digest and split up the fats so we can absorb it from the intestine. But our body is an absolute multitasking phenomenon. It does not only dissolve the fats with the bile, but it also excretes several products that are not of use for our body anymore. One of them is bilirubin. Those who watch longer my videos already know that bilirubin is a metabolite from the erythrocytes, the red blood cells, which is not for use any longer. This bilirubin is a little bit more metabolized in the intestines by the bacteria and the enzymes in there and stercobilin is formed. Doesn't matter the name, but this product gives poop its brown discoloration. In the end, when the stool leaves the body, it is consistent of 3 fourth water and one quarter solid matter. And this solid matter consists of 30% raw edge from the food, 20% proteins, 15% inorganic matter, 5% protein, and now sit back and hold tight, 30% of dead bacteria. Really. Are there any scenarios where the color of the poop is different than this normal brownish, dark brown, light brown? This doesn't matter. We're talking about white stool. What? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learned it correctly. White stool. There's a scenario where the outflow of bile is inhibited. For example, when you have a gallstone in your ducts, in the bile ducts. This is obstructing the bile from flowing into the intestines. And as you just heard, the bile solves the fat. As the fats are not dissolved, they are not easily accessible for those digestive enzymes. So fat accumulates in the stool and fat has this whitish yellowish color. So in the end, your stool has this whitish yellowish appearance. This is a clear indication to go and see a doctor. There is also the possibility to have a bleeding in your gastrointestinal tract. If the bleeding is more close to the mouth, we're speaking about esophagus, stomach and the small intestines, the blood mixes with the stools and they get oxidized so the blood gets a dark black nearly appearance. This is called melena and this is a clear indication to see a doctor because the smell is very intensive and this is very very dangerous. If the bleeding is more close to the rectum and to the anus, so we're talking about the large intestine, 
the stool has a red discoloration because the blood has no time for this oxidation and to turn black. So your stool has this reddish appearance. Very dangerous and a clear indication to go and see a doctor. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave me a like rating down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.